folks at home welcome back to another fishing video i got my buddy nathan out here if you missed our last video he caught his pb that camera fell in the water <laughs> good news folks we recovered the camera but we got a nice sunrise out here this morning turkeys gobbling over there in the woods nathan's got the top water tied on we're about to get them so we actually came out to this lake and fished it yesterday afternoon and i might lead with a couple of clips of that we're thinking that the shad spawn should be going on and they should be up in the pockets early in the morning and we found a little deep water hump bite right out here there's school up and down there got him good one. Oh yeah first bite of the day we just came over to school we're sitting there watching them on the graph. Got him. Folks, we've been out here about six hours. It's getting close to dark. We've been topwater fishing, trying a little bit of everything. We knew they had to be out deep somewhere. So we just cruised over them on the graph. I picked up Mr. Stealth Blade. That got it done. Let's see if we can get on a little pattern right before dark. Oh my gosh. Giant? Dude, this is a giant. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna need your help on this. I don't know what this is, but it is big. Holy cow. What? Oh, it's a big one. Ready? Whew, that thing fought like it was a little bit bigger than that, but still, that's a giant. There you go. Heck yes. Late afternoon bite. Man, I've not had a fish fight like that. It's just solid all the way through. But man, that was fun. Whew. I had my heart racing, thought it may be a double digit there for a second. <laughs> Hands down, the best fight of the year. All right, head on back out there. All right, Nate, time for you to get you one. <laughs> Got him. Oh, spit it out. On a good little deep water hump right here. It's so weird that they're biting it like this in April, but hey, we'll take it. That's that bluegill he's fishing with. Looks tasty. Got him. Pulled out the Alabama rig. Dude, this real, this <laughs> good fish good one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Nice one, dude. Look at the eyeballs. You got a bug eye billy. <laughs> All right, gonna put her on the scales. 5.82, 5 5.77. 5 <laughs> nice. Got him. Got him. Solid three fish right here before dark. So here's what we're fishing. Here's a close up look at it. It's a shell bed. That's a little mussel right there it's pretty cool to actually bring it in and see what it is but that's what they're hanging out at right out here and about 12 feet deep on a muscle bed got a bluegill in it there's a bluegill oh i'm catching a bluegill it's a good one too Oh my. Is this gonna be a one or two pound? Oh no, he's got me in a tree. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. It's like he's deformed almost, he's so big. My goodness. I even got him in the mouth too. Wow. I have to say, that's the most unique looking bluegill I've ever caught. Purple head, yellow tail, black fin. Got him. All right, folks, sun's going down. We're going to wrap up this afternoon and come back out here in the morning. We tried and tried to throw top water in something that would actually be fun to watch, but all the fish were out there on a deep pump. The shad spawn should be pretty much in full effect right now, so we're going to hopefully get out here and fish some top water like the six cents popper. But if they're not on the banks, we know where to catch them out there. Look at that shad up on the bank. Got him. The moment we first saw our first shad, 
Chad is spawning right up here. Yeah, Bass yeah. should be up there hitting them. So folks, we fished for this new Jackhammer Stealth Blade earlier this year. And the one thing I really like about it is right now it's a, it's a really weird bite. We've had a ton of rain and we also had record low temps in April. And so when the fish aren't biting really good, it seems to be the perfect bait with that little subtle vibration action to get them to bite. All right, folks, I'm tired of playing around with these fish. They won't bite top water this morning. Got to bring out the 12-inch worm. Hit it with the secret sauce. He's got zero faith in throwing this technique. He's never caught a fish on a worm that big or used this secret sauce. We're about to show him. Got him. Look at him. Solid fish. We're going boat flip. <laughs> He's going in for the boat flip. Unless, unless it's big enough. Second cast with a big worm. We weren't playing around. Now you can flip him. <laughs> we coming in for round two. I'm holding on to my camera. <laughs> you got a real little bit more line up now. <laughs> Boy, that's a fatty. I wonder if that fish spawned or just eating so much. That's a nice one. Solid four pounder. At least, yeah. That's the first fish of the day. We're about three hours in. We weren't playing around with the big worms. <laughs> Solid fish. That was about as soon as it hit the water, wasn't it? Hit it on the drop. Watching my line sing it. You flipping him? <laughs> That's a good one. Another bug eye, Billy. And she's gone. All right, folks out here, grub fishing in search of the two pound bluegill. Got him. Ooh, pull a little drag. This could be the one. We got a fighter. <laughs> Not the two pounder, but a fatty. Definitely a good one to start. There we go. This might be it. Hadn't seen it yet. Giant. <laughs> oh my God. Giant bluegill. Man. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Gotta love it. Here's one, good one. Got him. Got him? Yeah, he's on there. No giant. On the 12 inch worm. Putting up a fight. Sorry folks. If this is a boring video, but literally that spot is the only spot on this giant lake that there's any fish. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. That's why you can't ever be afraid to fish a 12 inch worm. It'll still catch a 12 inch bass. All right, folks, here's a quick look at the magical spot 
right out here was about 15 to 17 feet deep and then it, it comes all the way up to this hump right here and you can see that's a bass sitting right on it and throughout the day different schools of shad will come running up to it and that right up there on the top is that shell bed we're basically just working our swim baits and worms right up there right now the shad are up on the top side of it look at that giant school of bait right there on the top of it sit out here in the shallow end and throw to the deep end that way you can feel it as you're pulling back up yeah it's getting to be about that time boys it's 10 46. got him oh i stopped to check the time and it let it sink down to the bottom it's good fish oh my gosh that's a giant i can't believe just that little pause that's all it took I'm trying to get around this side this is an absolute giant Woo! pull and drag come from that's one we've been waiting on down there on that same ledge that may be a 10. All right, I think she's ready. No, one last pull. Here she comes. Got him. Dude, that's a freaking Ooh. giant, dude. Heck yes. On the trocar swim blade. That fish actually even got me a little bit nervous. It is tough to beat that little bait right there let's get a wait now that i'm holding her and seeing she spawned out i'm thinking nine eight point seven we we're about to head out <laughs> giant that's the one we came for right there go ahead and get her back she was about a month away from being a double digit thinking about it one last jump <laughs> not into the boat appreciate the assist on yeah, that one no problem. all right folks quick look at the baits we use these three definitely caught the most got the jackhammer stealth blade the big magnum 12 inch june bug worm and the trocar swim blade we got a couple bites on the 3d bluegill and caught a giant bluegill on the six cents popper you can pick all these baits up at bamafrogs.com. Check out my buddy Nathan's shirt. He's got a combustion cycle. Hey, and by the way, this guy is Elon Musk Jr. Check out his rocket launch. This is what he does when he's not out fishing. He builds rockets on the side. launches them to the moon <laughs> to the moon baby G, go ahead and plug some, some <laughs> GME, baby. Go, this is not financial advice <laughs> <laughs> he, give us a quick detail about that uh it's full flow stage combustion raptor engine that spacex is using for the new starships to actually send people to the moon everybody just left the channel right there <laughs> they're gone <laughs> <laughs> but most importantly we didn't water log the camera again eight pounders are going to be caught when nate's in a boat i think he's the lucky charm but folks, leave a comment down below on what type of fishing video you'd like to see next. Hope you all enjoyed this one. See you all next time.